Hi, I'm Dr. Incognito. In this video, we're going to solve an integral using partial fraction decomposition. And in this uh, particular example, the denominator of the fraction will contain an irreducible quadratic factor. So the problem is to integrate x squared minus x plus 1 over x cubed plus 4x dx. So this is an example of what's called a rational function, ratio of polynomials. And when we want to make a partial fraction decomposition for such a function, the first thing we do is completely factor the denominator. So x cubed plus 4x factors into x times x squared plus 4. Now x squared plus 4 does not factor. So this is what's called an irreducible quadratic factor, an irreducible quadratic. So the partial fraction decomposition in this case will look like we will have a over x for the linear factor, and then for the irreducible quadratic factor, the numerator will be a linear function, bx plus c bx plus c over x squared plus 4. So a over x plus bx plus c over x squared plus 4. So that's the form of the decomposition. Now to integrate this, a over x, that's going to be easy. But this second fraction requires a little bit of work. First, we break it into two more fractions just by simply breaking it at the summation. So the integral uh, will have three terms, bx over x squared plus 4 and c over x squared plus 4. That's what happens to this one. It splits at the plus sign there. Uh, so to integrate these, the first one will integrate to give us a times the log of x. Now the middle one, that one, will integrate using a uh, u substitution. Let's have a look. The integral of x over x squared plus 4, this is a very special example. If we let u equal x squared plus 4, then du will equal 2x dx, which is basically the numerator. We want to put a 2 in the numerator to match 2x dx, so we can put a 1 half in the front, 1 half times 2 is 1. So this is 1 half integral of 1 over u du. So that's 1 half times the log of the absolute value of u. And so that's 1 half times the log of x squared plus 4. I actually removed the absolute values there, small detail, because the x squared plus 4 is positive. So this is going to be b over 2 times the log of x squared plus 4. And then this last one is also a little bit tricky. Uh, there we will use the fact that the integral of 1 over x squared plus 1 is the inverse tangent of x. And a modification of this is the integral of 1 over x squared plus a squared is equal to 1 over a times the inverse tangent of x over a. So it's helpful to know this integration formula when trying to solve uh, a partial fraction integral that involves uh, an irreducible quadratic factor. So this one will integrate to uh, c over 2 times the inverse tangent of x over 2, and then we'll get a constant of integration. So x squared plus 4, the a value in this formula here, x squared plus a squared, a squared is 4, so the a value is 2. So you see c over 2 and x over 2. So the answer is going to look like a log x plus b over 2 log x squared plus 4 plus c over 2 inverse tan of x over 2 plus a constant. 
We're still not quite done because we have to figure out the values of the constants A, B, and C. So to do that, we write the equation x squared minus x plus 1 over x times x squared plus 4 equals our partial fraction decomposition, a over x plus bx plus c over x squared plus 4. Now we multiply both sides by the denominator on the left, x times x squared plus 4, and we get x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to a times x squared plus 4 plus bx plus c times x. If we let x equal 0, that will make the b and the c go away, and we will get 1 is equal to 4a. So a is 1 fourth, and we can put that in our final answer. But finding b and c is going to be a little bit tricky. Uh, because there's not a number we could put in here that will make the a disappear. x squared plus 4 will never be 0 for any choice of x. So instead what we will do is what we call equating coefficients. We'll take the polynomial on the left, x squared minus x plus 1, and equate it to the polynomial on the right. So we'll have to put this in a standard polynomial form. This is ax squared plus 4a plus bx squared plus cx. I've distributed here the x and distributed there uh, the a. And furthermore, we can put this together a little bit. ax squared plus bx squared is a plus b times x squared. And then the linear term cx and then the constant term 4a. So our polynomial x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to the polynomial a plus b x squared plus cx plus 4a. So what that means is that the corresponding coefficients are equal. So a plus b is equal to 1. c is equal to negative 1. And 4a is equal to 1, which we actually already knew. But there it is again, 4a is equal to 1. So c is negative 1, that's nice. We knew a was a fourth already, and since a plus b is equal to 1, that tells us that b is 3 quarters. So there are the b and the c values that we can plug in to get the final answer. Uh, so b is 3 quarters. So this is going to become, b over 2 would then be 3 eighths. So this is 3 eighths log of x squared plus 4. And c is negative 1, so this is minus 1 half times the inverse tangent of x over 2 plus k. Final answer is one fourth log absolute value of x plus three eighths log of x squared plus four minus one half times the inverse tangent of x over two plus a constant. Okay, so there's a look at a uh, an integral of a rational function using a partial fraction decomposition in which uh, the denominator of the original fraction contains an irreducible quadratic factor.